All right, guys, so today in front of me, we're going to be reviewing Middle West Spirits Sherry Cask Finish Bourbon, which is part of their double cask collection. Um, so this bourbon was uh, heavily toasted in American white oak, then matured in sun-blackened Spanish Solera sherry casks. Um, it's aged for six years and comes in at 97.25 proof. Definitely excited to get into this one. I am a big fan of what Middle West Spirits does. I was a big fan of the last three releases um, that I tried from them. Definitely excited to get into this uh, Sherry Cast finish, guys. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so as I said, this one is six years old and comes in at 97.25 proof. Um, just by looking at the color on this one, uh, it is it is very dark, so you can tell that that, uh, that sherry influence definitely played a, a big part in the color. Let's go ahead and get into the nose. Yeah, so one of the first things that I get is like these honey-soaked... Um, like golden raisins, not necessarily like on the like the dark side of the raisin, um, but I'm also picking up um, some dark like plums a as well. So there is some of that that darker fruit in there, but then also is like some um, some like honey drenched golden raisins. Um, really, definitely fruity on the nose. So you can tell that uh, that sherry cast finish definitely played uh, a, a major part in, in the nose on this one. A little bit further into the glass, I actually pick up. Um, a little bit of leather, and then there's also some like really like rich caramel in there. So good thing is, is it wasn't there wasn't too much uh, sherry influence in there that it took away from uh, the notes of the bourbon. Um, definitely, I, I feel definitely put a little bit more age there on the nose. Um, again, those those leather notes, some some plums, some golden raisin, like drenched in some honey. Um, nice like kind of rich caramel. Uh, a little bit further into the glass. There's definitely like like yeah that leathery oak um, further into the glass. So that's you know at six years old, typically you don't pick up a ton of uh, of the you know the oak tannins. Uh, maybe uh, you know like a, a younger oak, um, but but this is definitely smells like it's uh, then it's older than um, six years old. So you know that sherry influence could have had um, played a part in that as well. And then, like, there's also j just a, like a little bit further away from the glass. I pick up this uh, this clove too. Um, not sure kind of where that came from, but um, I kind of like it. I think it plays well with that uh, with that plum and that leather and that that oak in there. Yeah, a lot of again, a lot of fruitiness, and then there's like that. Uh, it kind of flips over into like this dark side of things um, with with that leather, the oak, a little bit of a clove there further away from the glass. Really nice nose, guys. Let's get to the palate. Cheers. My God, that is good. Right on the front and middle of the palate is chocolate-covered cherries. There's some fig going on in there. There's some dates there in the in the back, like the the middle of the palate into the back. Into the finish, it it kind of gets sweet um, there too. So it's like you know, front of the palate, you got these chocolate-covered cherries. There's some like some fig and some date there on the middle of the palate going into the back, and the finish. Very uh, rich, like caramel, um, caramel sweetness that kind of flows through into the end. Not very spicy. Again, it's only ninety-seven point two five proof. I'm not getting a lot of like rye spice um, on there e either. But what's nice is I'm still picking up um, some of those those bourbon notes. So again, that influence from the sherry uh, didn't overtake the notes of the bourbon. But man, that first sip was absolutely dynamite. What an amazing first sip. That big old burst of just chocolate covered cherries on the front and the middle. And then like those figs and dates there kind of appear on the middle to the back of the palate. Flowing through um, is that like really rich uh, caramel sweetness into the finish. The, the finish is, is, you know, on the short to medium side, uh, maybe more along the, the medium. Kind of it, it goes away fairly quick, but it makes you want to go back and, uh, you know, go for more. So really nice first sip, guys. Let's get a second one. So that sip, that sip changed a little bit. Um, wow. So again, the front of the palate didn't change. That, that chocolate covered cherry is like all over there. Definitely some fig and some dates there on the middle of the palate. 
along with now the, a little bit of that clove um, that I was picking up on the nose, that's kind of appeared there in the middle of the palate. And then, and then right towards the the like right at the, like the end of the the back of the palate and into the finish, you pick up this this like small hint of uh, of ginger. And it's a very, um, you know, I love the little ginger chews, so I know exactly what ginger tastes like. Um, and there's definitely a hint of ginger there, right on the the back of the palate and like right into the finish with that um, that really rich caramel. There's a little bit of nuttiness in there too. I feel kind of like on the middle of the palate. Middle of the palate, there's a lot going on on the middle. Again, that that front of the palate was that. Um, you know, those, those chocolate covered cherries, um, very sweet, fruity. And then the middle of the palate is the fig, the dates, a little bit of clove, almost like a little bit of, uh, some almond, almond in there too. And then, you know, and then flowing into the back there, you know, like a little bit of ginger and like, uh, some really rich caramel. This is a freaking hitter, man. This is, this is absolutely delicious. It's going to last sip guys. Cheers. Man, so not much changed on on that one. Um, you know that almond that I said that I picked up. It's almost like it's a toasted, almost like a toasted almond um, on the middle of the palate there with those those dates and those figs and a little bit of that clove. But the front of the palate hasn't changed. It's just like it's chocolate covered cherries all the way. Middle of the palate is is those those figs, those dates, you know, some of that those those darker fruits, um, a little a little little hint of clove. Again, that really hasn't like uh, it hasn't gotten any stronger and hasn't faded away. So it's just it's just a, a slight hint of clove um, in there. And then again, you know, flowing into the and that like that toasted almond. There's definitely a toasted almond like nuttiness note there on on the middle of the palate. Kind of almost flows into the finish um, with that caramel and then like. It's almost like a little bit of a ginger chew um, that kind of goes down and into the finish. It's not a super long finish. Uh, the viscosity is pretty nice. It's not super oily, but it's not you know watery. It's it's kind of like that 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 perfect medium there. I'm gonna tell you what. This this bottle has definitely landed in uh, my top ten whiskey so far this year. Um, this is an outstanding uh, finish here from from Middle West Spirits. I think they. I think they really they nailed it with, with this release. Just I think it was you know the perfect amount of time, um, you know when they when they pulled it. It's not it's not overdone, um, and they didn't do it. You know uh, they didn't do it to the point where it over overtook the actual notes of uh, of that bourbon. You know that bourbon is six years old. Um, I don't know how long they aged it in those uh, those sherry casks for. But it was it was like the perfect amount of time. Um, you talk about tons of flavor. Again, it doesn't it doesn't hit you with proof. Um, I would love to see this at a higher proof in the one one ten to maybe one twenty range, just to see what that would do to it. But this is this is an amazing drinker right here, guys. Again, this bottle has definitely landed in my top ten whiskey so far this year. Um, outstanding release here, guys, from Middle West Spirits. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And guys, this bottle has definitely landed in my top 10 whiskey so far this year. Um, an outstanding finished bourbon here from Middle West Spirits. Um, I, I can't rave about this one uh, more than I already have. It is, this is an absolutely delicious pour. Um, you get a ton of different flavors on, on this. Again, um, there was definitely some consistency with it. And then, you know, it, that second sip and third sip kind of flipped the script a little bit. Um, definitely picked up some things I wouldn't typically pick up in um, in, a, in a finished bourbon, but uh, you know, the clove and those like ginger chews there kind of on the back. Um, this, this is definitely uh, a release to talk about here, guys. Um, again, another bottle I highly recommend um, going out and, and buying. Um, amazing release here, guys, from Middle West Spirits. So if you guys are looking for more reviews like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And until next time, guys, stay dusty.